With the end of the 100 deadliest days on our road, safety advocates urge Utahns to refocus on zero fatalities. It was a deadlier summer than last year. And as new specialist Jed Bull shows us, they really want to turn around that on the road to zero fatalities. It was a deadlier summer, and right now the state is on pace for at least 20 more fatalities than last year. Those deaths all have a ripple effect in the way that they hurt the families and friends of the victims. It's not counting gadgets, it's lives. It's, it's, it's serious for us. For the second straight year, a rise in Utah's highway fatalities after a dozen years of dramatic decline. These last two years, we've seen the trend upwards and it's very concerning to us. During the 100 deadliest days of the summer, marked from Memorial Day weekend to Labor Day weekend, 12 more people died this year than last year. 12 more fatalities, 12 more families grieving um, over a traffic accident or a fatality uh, than there was last year. Fatalities so far this year also outpace last year. We're heading in the wrong direction, and that's not only frustrating, it's also incredibly heartbreaking. When troopers talk about this before going on patrol... We talk specifics. Let's find that one person that might be exceeding the speed limit. Um, drastically that's going to crash and see if we can change that behavior. They know that getting a drunk or distracted driver off the road can save lives. And so can urging one more motorist to buckle up. It's shocking to see the number of people that still don't buckle up. 15% of Utahns still do not buckle up. But nearly 60% of the people killed on Utah roads so far this year we're not buckled in properly. People may be tired of us talking about safety. People may be tired of us talking about the importance of wearing a seatbelt. We're tired of people dying. Make sure you wear your seatbelt, watch your speed, don't drive impaired. Here's another stunning statistic. Last summer, there were six pedestrian fatalities on our highways. This year, 16. The UHP urges all of us to be more aware of our surroundings when we are in and around traffic. In Salt Lake, Jed Bowl for KSL 5 News. Jed, thank you.